Did you know that every hour someone dies because they weren't wearing a seatbelt? Here in Arizona, it is the law, but according to the governor's office of highway safety, only 82% of drivers actually wear their seatbelt while driving. As Stacy Lloyd found out from the Glendale Police Department, wearing a seatbelt can literally mean the difference between life and death. This is what can happen if you're not wearing a seatbelt. This man was in a rollover crash, and as you can see, he was thrown around like a rag doll. When worn correctly, seatbelts reduce serious crash-related injuries by 50%. Statistics like that are one reason Arizona has a seatbelt law. In Arizona, um, any time that you're in the front seat of a vehicle that was manufactured with seatbelts, you have to have them on. Arizona's seatbelt law is a secondary law, which means police can't stop you for not wearing a seatbelt. But if you're stopped for something else and you're not wearing it, you'll be ticketed for it. I don't know how many times a day I'll pull up at a stoplight and I'll glance over to a vehicle that's on my side and I see the driver reaching up and trying to put the seatbelt on covertly and you know, it's like it's too late if you're on the road, you know, it's too late. Here's another look at how seatbelts better protect you during a head-on crash. See how violently this crash test dummy hits the windshield? Now watch how much different it is when the dummy is wearing a seatbelt and the airbag is deployed. Airbags and seatbelts are designed to work together. The airbag, when used without a seatbelt, can often push a person out of the way, or they will move prior to, the air, to hitting the airbag, and a lot of people will hit the A-pillar between the driver's window and the windshield with their head, or they'll hit the windshield or the top of the windshield support, causing head injuries. These are pictures of a similar accident. A young man wasn't wearing a seatbelt. His head struck the windshield and pillar, causing a massive brain injury. A seatbelt would have prevented this injury. Here's what else can happen when someone is not wearing a seatbelt. Some of the common injuries that we see for unrestrained passengers are um, uh, broken bones in the skull, um, neck severe neck injuries, uh, severe chest injuries. We also see um, severe organ um, injuries to liver, um, arteries, uh, because in a high speed impact with no seat belt to restrain you, um, you often will hit uh, a, a part of the inside of the car, which is very rigid. Unbelted backseat passengers can become projectiles in a car crash. They can be tossed around inside and even injure or kill those in the front seat. Glendale police have seen that and much more. I've seen where people get crushed by being partially ejected and the car comes and, and lands on top of you. Here are some pictures of vehicles after a crash where wearing a seatbelt would have made the difference between life and death. Here, a pregnant woman was driving without her seatbelt on. She drove over the median, lost control, and rolled over, causing her to fly out and land on the road. She died from multiple blunt force injuries. In this case, the truck ran off the road and rolled over. The man, who wasn't wearing a seatbelt, was ejected and died from both rolling around in the cab and landing on the hard ground. Here, a man drove off the road. He wasn't wearing a seatbelt, and because of that, his head went out the open driver's door window and hit a sign, killing him. Note, the damage to the car isn't that significant. Every time you get in a vehicle, you need to assume the worst is going to happen. You need to assume that there is going to be a collision, there is going to be an incident where you're going to need your seatbelt. If you don't have it on, unfortunately, you can't go back. So assume, that, assume the worst and prepare the best you can. Some people don't think seatbelts are necessary when traveling short distances, yet nearly 50% of fatal accidents happen within a couple of miles of the victim's home or work. Glendale police say the first thing you should do when you get into the car is put on your seatbelt. Don't wait till you pulled out of the garage or you're driving through a parking lot. Do it first. It's just getting in the habit of doing it. And once you do that, once you get in the habit of it, you will feel out of place if you don't have it on when you're in a vehicle. Here's something to think about. It takes less than five seconds to put on a seatbelt. For as easy as it is to put on a seatbelt, and for as much as they protect you and your loved ones, it makes no sense not to do it. The ticket 
for not wearing a seatbelt ranges between $90 and $130. But obviously the police will tell you the cost for not wearing a seatbelt could be your life.